Hey everybody, it's Jordan. Welcome to a new rain vlog. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with my hair there. Um, but in this rain vlog, I'm doing a 24-hour readathon. I just got off work and I just thought I would do a 24-hour readathon. I actually took a few days off from rain just because, like, I'm not in a rain slump per se. I'm just in a life slump right now. So I just thought taking a break from rain will help me a bit. And it did. And... Um, I'm not, in, like I said, I'm not in a rain slump. I just thought I would take a break from rain for a while and do some other things that I want to do. And and for the first book that I want to read for this readathon is Death by Tea by Alex Erickson. This is the sequel to Death by Coffee. If you haven't read the, uh, what's the name of the series? Uh, Bookstore Cafe Mystery Series. It's about a woman who's opening a coffee shop that is like a bookstore themed or a little bookstore um, cafe kind of place and she uh, and then one of her customers end up murdered and that's what happened in the first book and this is obviously the second book and I just like how the the pun it is like different drinks in, in each book in the series so I know the third book is called um, Death by Pumpkin Spice which I'm really curious about but I want to read this because this is obviously the second book and I'm and I'm really excited about continuing on with the series I know this was one of the lower lower rated books on my TBR back in a few years ago and I end up liking it so I know that some books that are low rated or high rated are usually a 50-50 for me. I either like the lowest rated book or either I don't like it. Same with the highest rated book but I, I enjoyed the series so I'm really excited to pick this up and plus I've been in a mystery mood lately and plus I thought I would try to catch up on my sequels on my TBR for a bit so yeah I'm gonna start off with that and I'm gonna start this readathon and um in a bit I'm gonna have some dinner first and then I'll get started on Death by Coffee <laughs> or not Death by Coffee that's the first book Death by Tea oh my gosh my brain today I literally just got off work and I just thought I would start the readathon as soon as I'm done with dinner so so yeah I'm gonna start off with this and I'll catch you guys later everybody it is 8 20 and i've read i started um death by t i'm on page 63 so about at the 100 page mark i'm really liking it so far i'm really liking it as much as the first book and not much uh in the beginning because um it, like i said it's a continuous story on death by coffee and yeah just um, seeing how the characters are going and of course like the first book um, things have gone out of hand and yeah I'm just trying to figure out if I should just stop at halfway point and then go to sleep or I would try to read most of it before going to bed I am not sure yet but I will decide when I um, get sleepy and want to go to bed but I'll let you guys know when I do. I am still going to read Death by T because I am liking the book so far and yeah and and of course with this 24 hour readathon I have I I'm trying to read as much as I can I, whether I read just one book or just two books like I did with the 48 hour readathon which like I said I don't want to treat reading as a chore that's why I get into a slump but I'm not in a reading slump I'm just want to do this for fun not, not in competition or anything because I know I've read four books for a 48 hour readathon before and that was great but 
it was only to catch up on my goal. And I've been way ahead of my ring goal this year, which is a good thing, but also a bad thing. Because sometimes I'm like, maybe I should slow down and just try to enjoy books that, that I'm enjoying instead of just rushing, trying to finish them like I have done in the past. So, but yeah, I'm still liking Death by Tea, like I said, but I'll let you guys know when I'm going to stop and go to bed. So I'll figure that out in a bit. And yeah, anyways, I should continue on with the sequel that I'm reading right now. Good morning, everybody. It's almost 7 o'clock. I'm on page 117 of Death by Tea. And I'm still liking it so far. And I'm planning on finishing this today since I have about... 12 hours left of this readathon, so I'm gonna try. I'm gonna finish Death by Tea and start a new book. I don't know what book yet, but I'll let you guys know when I do. And yeah, I am real. I'm just really happy about continuing on with um, reading the sequels that are on my TPR because I because I know that I have like over 30 <laughs> sequels on my TPR at this point, and I'm trying to catch up on the sequels. So. Yeah, I'm gonna go have some breakfast and then finish Death by Tea, and yeah, I'll catch you guys later. everybody it's about yeah it's 1106 I have seven and a half hours left on the readathon but I want to let you guys know that I finished Death by Tea by Eric uh, uh, Alex Erickson oh my gosh what the heck is wrong with me and I give this five stars I it was a very quick read I couldn't put this down I really like I still really like the characters I really like the story and the twist oh my gosh the twist I was not uh when the the, the reveal of the murder was so unexpected for me. I was keep thinking like it was one character, but of course I'm not gonna say anything because spoilers, but I thought it was like one character and I'm like, what the heck? So, so yeah, I can't wait to read the next book in a series. Like I said, it's called uh, Death by Pumpkin Spice, which is like a Halloween um, um, themed sequel. So I'm excited to read that, but of course I'm trying to catch up on all the other sequels on my TBR, so hopefully I'll get to that around the Halloween season if I can. But yeah, I am, I'm loving this series so far. And for my next read, I am going to pick another easy read for me. I know I would choose a manga, but I don't feel like reading a manga right now. I'm trying to read my other physical reads, which is um, Throw Like a Girl by Sarah Henning. This is the same author as the Sea Witch Duology and the series, I don't know what it's called, but the first book of that series is The Princess Will Save You, which is the Princess Bride retelling, which I love. This is one of her contemporary books. It's about a girl who wants to get a scholarship because she's the um, a softball player and then um, a captain of the football team, I think. Was he the captain of a football team? Uh, yeah, okay, uh, store quarterback, yeah, so I was right, so yeah, he got injured and she volunteered to take his place, and of course, there's gonna be a romance between the two, so I'm really excited to read this because it's been on m multiple TPRs and I have never got gone to it, so I am forcing myself to get to it because, uh, why uh, contemporary books are usually easier reads for me, so I'm trying to pick genres that. There are easy reads for me in general, like mystery or a contemporary. So, yeah, I'm going to pick this up next. But before I do that, I am going to obviously take a shower and and get 
dressed and possibly give myself some lunch. I don't know what I'm going to have for lunch. Most likely, I'm not going to, I'm just going to grab a snack because Kim and I are going to be going over to my parents' house later today and my dad's planning on grilling because the weather has been nice even though it's been cold last, like all that, all this week because the weather has been indecisive for some reason. That's, that's part of living in Illinois in my opinion, but yeah, the weather's just been wacky the last couple of weeks, but yeah, we got nice weather and I don't know if I'll read outside because I don't trust the weather right now, but I could try, but most likely not, but but yeah, I'm gonna go do that and then get started on Throw Like a Girl. I don't know if I'll read this in seven hours, but I can try just because I wanna read at least two books for this readathon, like I mentioned in the beginning of this video. If I haven't, that's my goal, but yeah, I am excited to pick this up. But yeah, I'll go do that and yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Hey everybody, it's about, what time is it? It's 3 Seven, I want to give you guys a rain update for Throw Like a Girl. I'm on page, let me see, 59. So, yeah, now don't have a lot of thoughts so far, but I am liking it so far. And, yeah, I do hope to like this overall because I'm really liking the characters and I'm liking the family dynamics. And, yeah, yeah that's, that's as far as I got so far. And hopefully I can finish this in the next three and a half hours, but I'm not going to pressure myself too much just because this uh, readathon for me is just a self-care kind of readathon like I would read as much as I can and just do some self-care stuff in between so I do hope to read a lot more of this but for right now I'm gonna continue on reading that and I probably will put on some instrumental music to help me with my reading process but we shall see and yeah, I'll catch you guys later. everybody it is 444 so yeah I, I have not moved but I want to give you guys a rain update for throw like a girl I I'm on page 185 so I am a little more halfway through or halfway through yeah just a little more halfway through and I'm really liking it and I do hope to read a, a little bit more but Kim and I are going to be heading over to my parents house to spend some time with them and I will let you guys know when I get home and how far I got or if I get any reading done for the next hour and a half but most likely I probably will be spending time with my family but of course I'm just gonna want this readathon to be relaxing and not like a race kind of thing but I'm still glad that I finished a book and start another one or halfway through another one so yeah I'll let you guys no, but until then, I'll catch you guys later. Hey everybody, it's the next morning. Sorry for not vlogging much yesterday and not to and I honestly did not read um Thor Like a Girl um after the last rain up date. I just thought I would spend time with my family and all uh, that. I'm still at where I'm at, which is uh, 185. So yeah, I'm still halfway through it. I'm just glad that I was able to 
start reading this and liking it. But I want to wrap up this vlog here. But I, I've read one and a half books for a 24 hour readathon, which I, like I said, it's okay if I don't read as much. I just want to spend the readathon, have a relaxing 24 hour readathon, then like a competitive 24 hour readathon. But yeah, the first book that I've read is Death by Tea by Alex Erickson, and I give us five stars. And like I said, I'm still currently reading Throw Like a Girl by Sarah Henning, and obviously I'm still halfway through it, and I'm still liking it, so I might finish this today. I don't know yet, but but yeah, I'm just glad that I was able to read a one and a half books for this 24-hour readathon. But yeah, if you enjoyed this, um, Reading vlog, give me a thumbs up and comment down below what books are you have read for 24 hours because I would like to know. And if you haven't already, click the subscribe button, click the bell icon so you'll be notified when I post new videos. Also, you can follow me on social media like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Goodreach, which all links will be down below for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!